Hi everyone, I have hair mail. This one is from Wigshi, and I'm really excited to receive this one. I've seen so many great wigs from Wigshi that wig sisters have already received. So I requested wig 009, and on their websites, that is listed as chic ombre blonde. And I also requested to have cooler tones on my wig. And so this one is 120 density. I ordered 16 inches, but it came 18 inches from crown to ends in the back. And that's perfect in case I want to get some layers or something put in. It has HD lace. And at the time of this recording, it was $579.99. And then you can use my code Natalie10 and get 10% off. So that's a great deal, you guys. And... It is a lace front, lace top, closed wefted back, has ear tabs that have metal combs if you need those for extra security. There's also a comb at the nape and there are nape adjusters so you can make sure you can get the wig to fit nice and securely and you can adjust it larger or smaller depending on what you need to fit your head just the way you want. The little nape adjusters, you just stick the bra hook into the little slot where you want it to. And once again, this one is from Wig She, and they have human hair wigs, and they are great prices for what feels like really great quality hair. I've seen great reviews from other wig sisters. This hair feels soft as butter. It's really, really soft. The color is gorgeous. Look at that. It's a mix of cool blonde and brown. And I give it a try on. I am 21 and a half inch circumference. And with one adjuster hook, this fits me great. I did give them my measurements. And so they made the cap to fit my head, which was amazing. And you'll notice when I try this on, I do have a widow's peak. And you can see that. So what I'll do later on in the video is just adjust that lace front so it covers my widow's peak. But look how easy the hair brushes through. It's soft and silky. And once again, I really love the color. I think my ring light makes it look a little bit lighter than it actually is, but I'll put pictures at the end in outdoor light. And the bump that you see in the back is just box hair from shipping. There is that lace front with lightly bleached knots. There's my widow's peak that I'll adjust and cover. And then there's the part. I may pluck the part a little bit. I'm not sure yet. I'll definitely put scar tape on it or some concealer just to give a more realistic scalp. But it looks really good. And I'm going to just show how easy it is to curl this hair. I use a bio-ionic one and a quarter inch curling iron at 280 degree heat. And I just leave it on the barrel until the hair gets warm all the way through. And then I'll release it and let it stay until it cools. I'm just adding a few curls to show you guys how the hair is and I'm struggling big time because it was a really busy day today and I, I think I got a little bit tired. But um, just adding the curls to show that the wig will take a curl and hold a curl and making sure that it gets warm all the way through before I release it. And I'm really happy with the way this wig feels. The cap is really comfortable. When I'm curling the hair, I don't feel anything weird. It feels really soft and butter soft and it's holding the curl. This is what it looks like in natural light outside my front door. And you can order yours at wigshe.com.